is actually a good lesson for people. Okay, so whenever I brush a horse's tail, I always teach my kiddos, like, you don't want to stand directly behind them. Obviously, so you don't want to be, like, brushing their tail like this. So you stand to the side of them. And I usually face this way because if you're facing this way and she were to, like, bump into you because something scared her, then you, like, have more of a chance of falling. So I always stand like this. That way if she bumps into me, I can catch myself a little easier. Um, so I just grab the whole tail and I pull it to the side like this. And then it's just like brushing your hair. Like, you want to start at the bottom. And then you just slowly work your way to the top. She has a, kind of a thin tail. I could show you on my, my other boy's thick tail. Then like once you get far enough up, you can actually just go to the top because they have like this weird tailbone that ends like right there. So it's easier just to brush it out after that. Ooh, looking good. That's no, that's not a thick tail though. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna go to the side of him. And then grab that thick old tail and slide your hand down until you have about that much. That's Then you just start, man. Once you feel like you have no knots, I always just grab it again, get a little more. Oh my god, this horse has such a pretty tail, I swear. Woo! Pretty tail.